good afternoon everyone uh, today i am very happy to announce that i'll be completing my diploma course at uh, picasso institute of art um, this this is like uh, similar to what you call a graduation day for any other professional courses um, the how much happiness and pride i felt when i completed my masters degree or bachelor's degree the same kind of experience i am feeling when i have completed this uh, uh, diploma course at picasso institute um, so um, coming to my journey the coming to journey before coming to my journey i would like to say what were my expectations before joining the picasso institute um, it was just a hobby that i wanted to join so that i will kill my time for one or two hours uh, uh, in a day and then uh, uh, and then the routine will continue that was my expectations and no particular uh, specific goals as such uh, with respect to the art so um, as i joined the institute um, uh, sir explained about um, the detailed structure of the syllabus and how we are going to progress and all that theory theory wise it felt all it all felt good that um, we'll be learning all that but but when it comes to actual practicality that is where we see the difference so um, I, I i was under the impression that i'm i'm a very good uh, um, artist and that um, i could draw anything um, very well but but when uh, sir has given uh, uh, you know some homework to draw certain um, still life drawings or even animals i i could see that there was um, i could see that there was um, considerable uh, improvement areas so uh, ramesh sir has pointed out where where the changes uh, need to be done and that i needed at least a month you know practice to come up to the point where where i where my paintings that is the next courses will be useful so without without learning the outlines and drawings there, there is no point in learning the painting so uh, uh, so he understood my my capabilities and made me do uh, one one to two months of just pure outline and um, uh, drawing course so after i finished that drawing course um, um, uh, uh, we went to the uh, next um, uh, next step in that that is the pencil shading so pencil shading also um, uh, that was very good when uh, he 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 practically made us uh, um, understand the sh shadows and the uh, and the related tones and dark uh, light areas by by keeping objects in front of us and explaining the uh, light theory and shadows and all that so that 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 um, um, that pencil shading almost took uh, uh, a month or so and we have completed 10 20 uh, approximately 20 works uh, in that and the next sequence was uh, to do charcoal painting um, uh, I personally I like the charcoal painting a lot because it, it, it has that uh, um, good texture and uh, lights and high, uh, highlights and uh, dark tones are really um, very good and when you draw portraits in that it, it looks excellent so we uh, so we continued on that journey charcoal painting also because I was more interested I did almost 30 works in uh, charcoal painting um, followed by um, uh, soft pastels now now I, wa I was very confident when it comes to black and whites when it comes to color I, somehow I was hesitant in learning and uh, um, going further but but uh, Ramesh sir has given confidence and he has given so many practice works so that I become confident in what I am doing and I I am I'm no more afraid of colors uh, now so soft pastels because I was little hesitant in um, uh, taking up colors I, I, I had to practice a lot but sir never objected that I was taking long time so um, almost there also I did some 30 works after completing this um, soft pastels that that's the dry medium uh, dry medium uh, course has been completed then the then the logical step is to go into the wet medium so that that is where we started with the watercolor so water watercolor looks looks simple but there are innumerable techniques i'll say which we will never know looking at the youtube or any other person working so um, so ramesh has made us do uh, different techniques and and like um, wet on wet dry on wet and and purely uh, doing a dry work and 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 not just the one or two pieces but but he will do it in a sequence and continuation like first you will do a still life then you will work on animals then you may work on um, some flowers then followed by um, landscapes then then if you are interested some architectural pictures and 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 if you are really doing well and wanted to do further you, even you can do with the portraits also so as i was uh, more interested in portraits i after completing the watercolors he 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 
just gave us a um, what you'll say uh, out of syllabus i'll say there was no course for uh, indian ink works but because we were very much interested and in, in looking at our enthusiasm he was also very uh, uh, you know uh, happy to teach more so we we learned uh, indian ink portraits also uh, followed by indian ink portraits then we did um, uh, acrylic works acrylic works is um, uh, something i was uh, um, scared of uh, <laughs> because I, i have never touched a brush or any uh, any um, you know acrylic medium before but but that all was um, you know um, totally dispelled by uh, sir so so we have done uh, many different techniques in acrylic using sand using salt and and some textures also so we, which you will never find in any of the books or any in any of the youtube or any of the institutes also i i can say so after learning the uh, acrylics um, uh, we we finished the course with the oil paintings oil oil paintings also it's not a, a simple thing unless you complete all these uh, courses you will not get an idea of how to you know easily Uh, or how to understand that oil painting lesson um, so uh, there also we have done um, in a uh, you know starting with a still life till till the uh, portrait drawing so this buddha painting also i have done uh, using the oil painting so oil, oil painting is completed so now i have completed all these uh, um, i'll say that i have completed the course so anybody will teach this course i'll say but apart from this course what sir has given is like he has provided us a path after this what am i going to do so that he has shown us path as to how to move forward he, he, you you may join any institute and learn uh, art as a hobby but after that um, after that you you after the course is completed one or two months you, you will practice also but after that you know slowly that um, enthusiasm fades away and and you will fall into your regular uh, day to day routine but what god uh, what uh, uh, ramesar has done is like he has shown us a um, couple of different paths first is like a- anybody who has joined this um, um, art institute he has made them do ttc certification along with it some government central government certifications are also being provided where uh, we have we have uh, submitted our uh, artworks and um, based on the their feedback we got our uh, uh, certificates as well so that those certifications very are very well valid to be uh, used for any any art teacher uh, um, you know art teacher um, uh, requirement so if you want to become an art teacher so that is one path uh, that ramesh sir has shown the second path is like where i mean that is very unique of uh, picasso institute i'll say so how do how do we do uh, we do all copy works look at look at the pinterest and do works but but how do we do our own creative works that that is that is not um, uh, uh, something that's been taught in every institute so ramesh sir has made us do creative works think think by our own and do our own work and and um, and he has not only just made us do the creative work but but really huge ones not just the uh, a3 or a4 size pictures but uh, two by three pictures uh, uh, on canvases and and he with with his good network and uh, um, great communication with uh, uh, telangana cultural department and um, and uh, telangana uh, institute uh, telangana uh, cultural institute so what what he has done is like he has made uh, uh, us do an exhibition art exhibition that's a group exhibition um, which was uh, hosted at uh, ravindra bharati so uh, i i was really very happy with the outcome because um, i joined just as a hobby and um, for for a person like me uh, uh, reaching to a stage where my artworks have been uh, uh, put up uh, in exhibitions and and uh, my pictures have been come up in newspapers as well as even our show was uh, uh, you know telecasted on uh, television so this this is a very good path so second path is where you can become a professional artist you can further do your own works do your uh, may, uh, do your uh, you know uh, independent you can set up your independent exhibitions also or you can collaborate with other artists and uh, uh, proceed further uh, on that path also so first path is what i'll say is like you can become an art teacher or you can start your own uh, art classes second path is where you can you know uh, become an a uh, professional artist and do your own works and uh, proceed further 
the third path is, i'll say is like if 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 you are not a not somebody who is you know uh, not much interested in uh, doing anything commercial or uh, going into teaching field or not able to spend much time still you can continue with the hobby i i'll i'll 100% say that whatever you have you know before whatever you'll know after joining the picasso will be completely different and it will give you the satisfaction um, you know when when i look at the any of my works it it gives me that uh, uh, you know when when you hold a baby how happy you feel the same way i feel those are my babies the the works that i have done so that gives my that gives extreme uh, happiness so so that's what i would like to say uh, i joined as a hobbyist and i am very happy to complete my diploma as you know uh, uh, an artist thank you